Well, I guess that's me today, part of the Northumbrian Anglers Federation. The weather at home, or the weather generally around here, is absolutely shocking for sea fishing, so uh, I've been stuck in the house twiddling my thumbs thinking what to do, so uh, I do like a little bit of fly fishing, so I've uh, picked up a license for those people. So with that in mind, I've come out to a place I've never been before, and uh, we're going to go and chase some wild brownies. Um, normally when I do this sort of thing I like to fish on a quite a small uh, stream, mount, sort of stalking style, but this is quite a large river I think and I'm not really used to it so we're going to uh, get a bag on the shoulder and head I think that way through that farmyard and uh, find the river and hopefully see some fish rising. But <laughs> find it a little bit tricky to get to where I need to be. Um, just had to come through a farmyard that's Covered in signs here, no access apart from for anglers. I think coming the right way. I know there's a, a river down there somewhere, but I've got no idea where, or at least how to get down to it. But it's a part of the adventure, I guess. I mean, it's a long way down this hill, but I'm going the right way. There's a river. Not as big as I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a lot um, wider, in all honesty, than what you can see on Google Earth. But uh, I'm happy with that. Oh, smell wild garlic. What I really need to do is the wind's quite strong, which is why I've chosen this section of the river because I think the direction of the wind and that. See that and a big gust comes through. Uh, I think I'll head upstream a bit so you can see those trees unless I see any fish rising. And uh, start stalking some pools. I love my lure fishing in the sea, it's definitely my favourite, especially for bass, top water fishing for bass. But um do really like this as well because it, it's almost very similar to top water fishing for bass apart from a lot of the times this way especially if we're using a dry fly we actually see the fish first then you can actively target them and then seeing them take your dry fly it's uh, it's dead exciting it's just like top water fishing for bass apart from this time we're unlikely to get any doubles not that I catch many of those in bass anyway, but less the size of the fish and more the actual kind of fun and uh, of actually the process of catching them. Temperature-wise, it's, it's pretty cold still for May. It's the middle of May and it's 10 degrees. Uh, so there's don't know if there's much insect life yet because the water's still really cold, but I did see some uh, hawthorn flies while I was out and about yesterday, so I haven't seen any hawthorn bushes yet, but it's a sign that there could be some fish uh, insects around and therefore fish feeding on the surface. Spotted some salmon They're right in front of us. Do the salmon or sea trout? This is quite a famous river um, for those types of fish. Oh, yeah, look, there's a whole school of them there. Don't know if you can see through. Wow, they're right in the shallows. There must be. Oh, look at them. Just ask Robson Green about this river. I think that's his, uh, his favourite one. So he keeps saying he's an extreme fishing program. Never seen them like this outside of Scotland. Fortunately, I'm not allowed to target them. It'd be amazing to catch a fish like that, this size, or that size, in this sort of uh, confined environment. 
gonna have to get myself a license. This is a pool where I've just seen the salmon. I've just come up to this sort of glide here, it's really shallow. There's another one closer. Not a very big fish, but not compared to the salmon I've just seen. But a fish is a fish, as they say. This isn't about getting a huge fish, this is just about getting a fish and enjoying the process. So it's actually a 10 foot nymph and rod with a four weight floating line and a two pound leader on reel that makes a difference as a sonic SK light. It's a matching reel for this rod. Start with this little size 14 I think, uh, CDC major because the fish aren't actually breaking the surface well they are but they're not breaching if you know what I mean so uh, yeah let's give this one a go it's designed to just sit under the surface partly Oh, you're totally rusty at this. Smells great in here with this wild garlic. Make me hungry. Oop. Interrupted something there. Female pheasant. <laughs> Male pheasant. Probably won't pick this out, but there's another pheasant. So wait until you're right on top of them. There's a fish feeding just kind of where my rod's pointing there, just to the left of those two ducks. Right, I've changed up my approach a bit. Got my uh, nymphs and indicator set up, and let's see if we can winkle out a fish this way. Oh, something just had a little nibble. I felt it tug, but it didn't. I wasn't expecting it. Damn it. Well, I don't believe it. Literally just put my uh, line in the water to start wading and I caught a fish. So uh, I know I said we weren't after monsters, but this thing is ridiculous. It's taking a big fly as well, hungry little bugger.
Go as far. Find his way. Let's go nuts. Hey, little fella. Hey, lot. Miniature for Christine. Yes, got another one. Hey. What do you know what fuck you do with a one weight with these size fish? Beautiful little brown trout. Get in! That's three fish now. One unknown species. Look like a coarse fish to me. Uh, two miniature pristine brown trout. So uh, I haven't blanked at least. My fly line's sinking so what I'm gonna do is walk down back down the river a little bit, back into the shelter and uh, dry my line off and stick a little bit of, uh, of fly floating on it to help it uh, float again. I'll give that 10 minutes to um, to dry off that silicon and then uh, get back on it. Hopefully in the meantime we'll see some fish rising because I haven't seen any taken off the surface but um, catch them on the nymph that'll do. It's not going to do much good down there. Biggest one of the day. It's not that it's a trout. A little sea trout maybe? Get in. Well I think that little uh, silver trout is probably the fitting way to end the night. So it's, uh, it's been a it's been a canny few hours. Um, 
Shame I didn't get anything on the dry fly, but that last fish I'd seen it surface a couple of times and uh, it was felt good having been able to cast to it uh, and it taken my nymph. Didn't take the daddy, but to be fair, the, the hook's a size 10, so it probably wouldn't even have fitted it in its gob. So, yeah, uh, it's been a nice way to spend the afternoon, like I said, especially when there's absolutely nothing to do with uh, in the sea at the moment. I thought I was going to start chucking some. Um, using the beach casting kit but uh i didn't really fancy that in all honesty so came out for a little bit of a something different something just to uh to stretch the legs and come to a place that's nice and quiet and uh, not many people around and uh yeah really enjoyed it i think um uh, definitely be getting a salmon license <laughs> love to catch one of those massive fish in this sort of uh stream or river um but uh, hopefully the next video will be out in the sea, either on the shore uh, for some pollock or out in the kayak. I'm not sure. It's just it's just weather dependent, really. Uh, it's been like the coldest April for a hundred years up here. Uh, whenever there's wind, there's a, uh, no, there's no swell, and whenever there's no wind, there's a big swell. So it's made getting on the shore on the rocks uh, really tricky. Um, not to mention that they've banned fishing. Uh, at St Abs from the shore, which is uh, where I usually go for for my for good good pollock fishing and things. So that's a bit of a gutter because about eighty percent of my videos are filmed up that way. So I'm gonna have to start finding some new ground. We'll manage. We'll find somewhere, and uh, there's plenty of coastline, obviously. So yeah, well, I'm gonna uh, try and find my way back to the car, and uh, without going through a farmyard or. Uh, up a massive hill but uh, I really hope you've enjoyed this slightly different video and uh, if you have give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button as always and uh, until the next one tight lines mm -hmm.